It's been almost exactly three years now since Eastern Florida State College first tried raising money to reopen its planetarium, but still it sits and no funding exists to fix it from falling into total disrepair. The planetarium had to be shut down because of roof damage after Hurricane Irma. It's been closed ever since. If you get someone who's young and they become inspired by seeing that, they could become like an astronomer or something. Some students on the campus in Coco would like to see it dazzle people of all ages once again, especially those with an affinity for space, having grown up on the space coast. Every time we hear like the rumble, so outside we would just race to the door and we see either the flashing light or hear the sound barrier being broken. On Facebook, we asked others who live in Brevard County about the planetarium and many shared fond memories, recalling light shows, wishing they could take their own kids as they remember it. Celebrate the season at the Brevard Community College Planetarium and Observatories. Right now, no one can go inside for health and safety concerns. After Irma, college officials determined about $9 million would be needed for repair and refurbishment. Of course, the cost could be higher now, and as of yet, things aren't looking up. A spokesman tells us, quote, we still haven't been able to secure the necessary funding from public or private sources for the project, but haven't given up hope to find a solution. In Coco, Matt Lapoli, West 2 News. They seem to be trying to get other stakeholders to take over, like Kennedy Space Center or the school district, but no deals were made. So far, the state legislature has not allocated money either.